All right, capnography part three. And here we're gonna talk about something that, uh, certainly in the other videos we've talked about capnography, the things that we've talked about there, um, you know, the videos are specific to cycling, but they have life-changing effects. People who are significantly over-breathing, they tend to have a lot of chronic issues and even some chronic diseases are related to some of the issues that we could change by improving someone's breathing. But here's one that really has a dramatic impact on athletics. And we get again a little bit um, into the physiology of how the body works, but you know we're going to try and make sure it's something easy to understand. So again, when you don't have enough carbon dioxide, your blood becomes too alkali, all right? Not acidic enough. So the other major organ in your body that regulates the pH of your blood besides your lungs is your kidneys. And what happens is, is over time, if your blood is always too alkali, your kidneys will siphon off the alkali substances within the blood, and they're called bicarbonates, and, it, and you, you pee them away. And so you get rid of all these bicarbonate chemicals in the blood because your kidneys are trying to make your blood more acidic because they know what's going on and they are trying to make it right. And so if you are chronically getting rid of all of these bicarbonates in your blood, that's going to have a major impact on your cycling performance. Because these bicarbonate chemicals that normally exist in the blood, buffering um, the carbonic acid, are also your buffers against lactic acid. And so now, when you're exercising, as soon as you start to produce lactic acid, if you are a chronic overbreather, you will not perform well. Okay, and, and where, what this looks like from a performance standpoint is the person who, you know, on an aerobic ride they do okay, but as soon as they get, they have no fifth gear, they sometimes say. As soon as they redline it, they're done. And they just cannot sustain lactic efforts. And you can try and train these all you want, and you're, you'll train your body to be a little bit more efficient, but if you are lacking those bicarbonate chemicals in your blood, you don't stand a chance. And it takes 12 hours of proper breathing for those chemicals to come back to a normal level. So again, you think about some of these athletes who prepare and prepare and prepare for one event, and in the days leading up to it, you know, they're getting psyched, and as they get psyched, they maybe are breathing a little harder, breathing a little deeper, getting rid of that valuable carbon dioxide, bringing their blood acidity levels down, and now all of a sudden those bicarbonates are going away, and then I don't understand, I, don't, I just didn't have it that day. Why? That's one of the reasons, okay? So in the last video, we're going to talk about what capnography can do and how we help people who may be suffering from this overbreathing syndrome, okay?